And what's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's me Eclipse, and today I'm going to be testing Adware and Tavares 3 against a bunch of my ransomwares in my ransomware folder. So I know I've not taken a look at Adware yet, even though I've been trying to for a very long time now, and I've just never bothered to by now, because on my old computer it just didn't let me install it. But now I managed to got it, so I'm pretty sure I could make a quick ransomware test on this one. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I am going to firstly show you a bit how this works. So we have all the protection layers here. So this is not free. Free only has real-time protection, which is a bit annoying, actually. Over here, we have all of the scan options. So quick, full, custom, automated, randomly. We have performance. I guess how fast this scan is going to be. The higher, the fastest. Uh, then we have reports, exclusions, quarantine files, definition files. Then we have real-time web. So for every layer of protection, we have a specific thing. Now we have a bunch of other settings, language, nothing special really. <clears throat> so yeah, this is all there is to this antivirus pretty much. It can register, which I'm not going to do. I'm not bothered to. I'm not bothered to do this, so sorry. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and run Mail Tester. And I already have it highlighted. There we go. We have Mail Tester ready. Mail Tester here, out of where here, so I can turn on real time. And Process Explorer over here, so we can see everything happen in real time. So, uh, over here, that mal under Mail Tester, is what you're going to see. But before that, let me just make two files, or like two text documents, like, uh, hello, I'm going to name it, uh, not that uh, um, there we go, just so everyone knows how this should properly be. So we're going to make one, I'm going to make a another one and say the another thing onto it. So like, there we go, save. And I'm going to make a rich text document. Name it something. <clears throat> there we go, save. So we have two texts in one RTF file as a victim of the ransomware attack. Uh, Real-time protection is enabled, and yes, there we go. So, um, I think this was Win10's. The PowerShell one is Win10's, so pretty sure we're gonna have a miss here, because it didn't block the PowerShell. Nope, okay. The text is already encrypted. Let's see what this is. Yeah, okay. This is definitely win tens. So we are encrypted already. And we have Cap P also executing. And then we have D control also executing. I mean encrypted, yeah. Everything else seems to have gotten blocked so far, so that's nice. <laughs> this got encrypted, over encrypted, over encrypted. Wow, okay. The RTF file, though, is fine. Interesting. So far, are there these two? We're getting everything blocked. So that's very interesting indeed. All right. So the file detection ratio is 98.68%, which is good as far as detection rate goes. However, the files on the desktop are speaking a different story. So I'm I mean, I'm going to make more videos on win tens and like this ransomware because these are annoying to detect from what I'm seeing. Like, less, like few tests, like antiviruses did nothing against these, so I'm really confused. Like, AVs like Adaware and some other 
they just did nothing about it so I am definitely gonna be extremely curious to test this one against like a bigger product so expect this type of test as well very very soon even though I have a bunch of stuff planned I'm still going to do this because I am actually shocked at what I've seen like in the last few times but yeah as far as the detection ratio goes this is a solid result but the files are kind of compromised so the only non-encrypted one is this I'm going to also prove that it's encrypted so if I just rename it back to text as you can see we have a bunch of really scrambly text which means that it was destroyed so all the data that was in here is now just this so a bunch of symbols just spaces and trash this is all you're gonna see in an encrypted file so yeah might have not been the best result ever but honestly it was it was fine that's as, that's as far as I'm gonna get like an 8 7.5 or 8 out of 10 so yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Make sure to share it if there's anyone using Adaware. Let them know how this thing performs. And yeah, I'm, I'll see you guys in the next one.